Hey, hey friends. So in today's live, I'm going to be sharing with you, especially if you've been feeling like you've been stuck in a rut in your business, comment rut if you are can relate to that in any way. But here's the thing. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to discover the simple steps to reignite that passion and productivity inside of your life and your business again, basically getting or helping you to get from where you are at today to where you want to go in terms of really becoming obsessed. Like my intention for you is to become on fire, to create that passion, that excitement, that energy that maybe you feel is missing right now, or you haven't really had that, or you kind of lost your mojo in a way. But here's the thing. My intention for you is become obsessed, become obsessed with your target, become obsessed with your vision, because here's what I find is that a lot of the times people, especially entrepreneurs lack urgency. And when we don't have the urgency or a sense of that we're making progress day in and day out, we tend to like feel defeated, right? And want to throw in that towel. So I want to help you check in with yourself today. I'm going to actually be sharing with you again, a couple different steps, some action taking steps, some practical strategies that you can actually do today. So make sure you stick around, make sure if we're not yet connected yet, um, make sure we connect, follow, subscribe, um, if we're not yet connected, because I'm going to be sharing with you more tips and tricks and strategies. So if we're meeting for the first time, welcome. Hello, my name is Melissa Kibler, and I was a former teacher turned entrepreneur, really figuring things all out along the way, diving deep into mentorship. And now I coach, gosh, I think it's been thousands of people now in the online space, entrepreneurs, network marketers, affiliate marketers, to grow and scale a profitable business online while enjoying the process along the way, right? Like not just showing up and doing the do, not just hustling and grinding, although hard having a hard work ethic is really, really important, but also to create some meaning, a sense of joy, a sense of fulfillment in the things that we're doing. So I want to help you get back to that. Is that okay if I help you do that? Let me know. But so here's the thing. I want to get right to it. So in terms of how do we get from where we are to where we want to go, and this is kind of that self-assessment, a little bit of a check-in for you right now. Make sure you have a piece of paper or a pen somewhere to write notes because I want you to not just sit in listen-only mode, but if you're driving in a car, make sure you can come back to this and re-listen and really create some space to do the work that I'm going to be sharing with you. Some really, really simple shifts and strategies that you can start to implement and incorporate in your business today. So I want you to think about your future self, kind of think about like where you're going, that future self. And sometimes I don't know about you, but I felt this, I know in the past where it's not necessarily sometimes the business or my business that's burning me out, but life, right? Life's a, low, a roller coaster. There's always things that come at us. And I don't know about you, but sometimes we can get caught up in being in reactive mode, kind of letting you or allowing your schedule to run you rather than the other way around. So I want you to right now just stop, right? And I want you to think about how are you currently showing up right now? Kind of take a look at that future self. Is this the way how I'm showing up? How my future self, how I see myself in the future showing up? Because in the end of the day, they're the, they're the same person, right? They're the same person. So we can start to do some of those things now. But I want to really have you start to get some clarity and think about what standards do you have for yourself? What standards have you set for yourself? Because everybody, I would hope, has their own standard in life. And you're going to know, right? This happens in life. This happens in your health. The standard of kind of where you see yourself being your relationships, business goals, your finances, all those buckets, right? All those areas. I want you to identify and really think about it. Maybe you haven't ever thought about this before, but what's my standard in this area? What's my standard in my finances or my business results? Am I there? And if not, then... Um, this is what I'm going to share with you moving on is like, how, how do we identify that? How do we get some more clarity? But first we have to understand where are we at? So we have something to measure. We have something to operate off of. And when you identify what that is, I want you to ask yourself, here's the next question is what is going to be your non-negotiable? So maybe just maybe just stay with me for a second. Maybe you're like, okay, this is the standard that I set my, for myself. But as I'm really being honest with myself today, I'm realizing that my actions, my behaviors, the things that I'm doing are not up to par. They're kind of down here, although this is the standard that I'm saying and that I see for myself. So as you can see, there's a disconnect, right? There's a disconnect. 
But what I'm asking you to do today is ask yourself, today, we're going to draw a line in the sand. Today's a new day. We're not going to be digging our heels anymore in this avoidance, in this resistance, in whatever it is that we're feeling. It's over. We're done. We got to stop that, right? Are you ready to stop that? Put stop. Let me know. Engage with me. Put stop um, in the comments. If you're like, yes, I'm ready to draw the line in the sand today. And ask yourself, what is my non-negotiable going to be? Because I'm telling you, my friend, and I'm sure you already know this, this is probably probably just a reminder, but it takes extreme ownership, it takes discipline, it takes commitment, and most importantly, it takes action. It takes you actually doing the do and creating some healthy habits. So it's not just a one-off. It's not just, I'm going to do this one time and maybe you find some success in it. Maybe you don't. But what I want you to create for yourself is we got to start creating these habits if they're not apparent, or maybe you're doing something that's habitual. That's, that's something that it's a habit of yours, but it's ineffective. So that's where we also need to do that self-assessment in the things that we're doing or not doing. Is it working for you? Is it effective? Or is it not effective? Because that's kind of the baseline. That's where we need to start that foundation. Because in those moments of the hard times, in those moments of the pain and the struggle, you know what's really, really awesome? You know what's actually really, really empowering for yourself, hopefully to start thinking about in this moment of time, is we get to choose what we want to do in those moments. Do we want to sit in and continue on in victim mode or stay where we are? Is that the standard? But I'm guessing if you're on here, that's not. And you hold yourself to a higher standard. And I love that about you. And that's that's how I see myself as well, too. So here's what I'm saying. And here's what I don't want you to misinterpret is it's important to rest. Everybody has like these seasons of life, right, that we go into. And it's important to rest. But it's also important not to stay there. It's important to rest, get the rest that you need, take care of yourself, you know, giving yourself that self-love. But it's also important not to stay there because if we choose to stay there, again, if we're saying that our standard is this and we're choosing to stay, stay here and we're aware that these are habits, these are patterns that are happening that are not serving us, then there is a huge disconnect in what you're most likely feeling is an alignment, which is causing the overwhelm, which is causing the chaos, which is causing you maybe to feel scattered and just not productive and just not making the progress that you want right now for yourself and especially for your business. So, okay, my friends, here's the next step. You ready for this? I'm hoping that you're taking some notes here because my goal, my intention for you is to get into action, right? Today, we're drawing the line in the sand and we're taking the action. So here's the next steps. You're a go-getter like me, and you feel like you are wearing all the hats and you feel like you are spinning all of the plates and you feel like you just want to attack all the things and get them done like yesterday. Let me know if that is you. Here's what I want you to do. Here's my suggestion. Here's my advice. Here's what I recommend. I need you to choose and ask yourself, what is the priority? Because not everything can be a priority, right? Because sometimes you might be also, if you're everywhere, right, we're busy, but not productive. So we find ourselves, you know, busy, but not productive. We find ourselves um, kind of 99% in, but not all in because I mean, how can we be right? Our mind multitasking all things we know it's like kind of proven. It, it really doesn't work, even though we can say I'm a great multitasker, like it really isn't as effective. So I want you right now today, ask yourself, what is the priority? What do I really want right now? And ask yourself, what do I really want in my life? What is it? Because, because you know why that's important is because when you ask yourself, what do I want in my business? I would hope that whatever it is that you want in your business, whatever it is that you're working towards aligns with those life goals. That's when you know when you're when you're you're in a sweet spot. That's when you know you're kind of in this flow. You're gonna feel more of this work life balance. You're gonna feel more of this you know alignment and things just come. I'm not gonna and I'm not saying that there's not gonna be hard days. There are, but when we have that clarity, when we have that focus, when we know that we know that we know what the priority is that's going to take precedence above all the other things, like we're gonna make sure we fit it in. We're going to make sure that that becomes our non-negotiable behavior, habit, activity. 
and work that in day in and day out. I'm telling you, friends, your life, your business will change. It just will, right? It's only like time will tell, like it, it, it will change. So here's the next steps. I want you to identify when you identify what that priority is. And you might already know this. It's like, okay, I want to build my business or I'm looking to, you know, again, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs, network marketers, affiliate marketers. So maybe you have a financial goal. Maybe you have a rank advancement goal. Maybe you know the thing, the money-making activity that you know you need to be doing in your business, but you're just not doing it. Again, no shame, no judgment. That doesn't get us anywhere. I want you to stay with me. I want you to stay in the present moment and we're getting into problem solver mode. That's what great entrepreneurs do. We are problem solvers. We're managing the mind up here. We're not allowing that to get in our way and get into the weeds and focus on the past. We're focusing on today. We're focused on present moment and where we're going, right? So once you choose the priority, here's what I want you to do. Say your priority is to uh, rank advance or it is to hit a certain income goal. We all know that we cannot focus on the results. If we focus on the results, we're not going to get anywhere. What we need to be doing is focusing on what are the specific behaviors? What are the specific actions that we need to be doing to then hit that result? And when you identify what those are, again, keeping it as simple as you can, the minute that you start to feel overwhelmed creep in, I'm telling you, it might be too much. You might be unnecessarily putting or putting that unnecessary pressure on yourself. You might be adding more on your plate than, than you really can handle right now. So we got to get real. We got to get honest with ourselves. Okay. So I want you to think about what's the priority. And maybe if you identified what that is, you're like, okay, the priority, I'm just giving you an example here. Maybe the priority is I know I want to be building my business online. I want to put out content that reaches my ideal buyer where I'm able to get, you know, quality engagement and things like that. But the breakdown, here's the other thing you have, you have to identify when you know what you're doing that you're not doing, identify and ask yourself, where's the gap? Where might the breakdown be? What might, what is my resistance? What's the resistance going on here? What am I truly avoiding? What am I procrastinating? And let's get really real with yourself because we need to name and label these things in order to push through. And um, when you identify what it is that you want to say it's the, the area of content, when you're like, nope, I know that I want to do this. When you identify kind of what's getting in, in your way or what's getting in the gap, I want you to ask yourself, um, I actually want you to become so hungry and so obsessed with your goal and in, in where your target is, like where you're going. And I need that to be, you need that to be bigger than that fear of failure. You need to be, have that be bigger than that procrastination that's happening, the stories, the lies that you're telling yourself that's not serving you, all of those things. And I want you to become so obsessed. I want you to become a master at that. I want you to want that for you. It's kind of like that competition within yourself. So you may not be great at it, or maybe there's some hurdles when it comes to content. I'm just going to use that as an example, but you want to become masterful in reaching people. You want to become masterful in getting that engagement, having quality engagement, having effective conversations and converting them from a viewer to a buyer. So if it's, if you're like, yes, I want to master that then that's really where, where you start. That's your focus. Focus on those things. Focus on building that muscle. You have to remember it's you, it's you that is the differentiating factor, right? It's not necessarily the strategy or the tactic, although that can be helpful, although that can be really, really leveraging for yourself and your business. You know, we need all that, but you have to remember that different differentiating factor is you. It's, how are you showing up when you're doing it? Your energy, your posture, again, going back to thinking about your future self and how would that person show up? So when you're putting out content, are you just putting out content for the sake of, I did it, checking the box, I put out content, but how are you feeling when you're putting it out there? And I know it's not going to be like in the feels like all the time. That's not what I'm talking about, but notice my, my posture, notice my energy, notice my enthusiasm and my just at my tone even, right? My passion that's coming out of this. Are you excited about the things that you're talking about? So it's kind of, again, that's another area where you can get into and you know alignment. 
but I want you to notice those things because that's also going to show up in the way um, with your habits and the actions that you do to either make them, you know, to have them be more effective or, or ineffective. So I'm just going through my notes here. I didn't want to miss anything because I, this is such a topic where sometimes this is the area where we almost need to slow down to speed up. We need to slow down in a sense, right? To get really clear. And sometimes if you're all over the place, use that time, create the space, brainstorm, write down some ideas, but, but create a by when, say by the end of today or by the end of Friday or by the end of next week, this is where I'm going right? This is my focus. This is my priority. I'm telling you, you're one decision away. Sometimes that indecision can call up, cause us that chaos alone too. So it's just taking back that control. Let me know. How does that feel? Do I'm hoping that you feel empowered. I'm hoping that you have some tangible step-by-step -step tips, tricks, you know, strategies that you can do. So that way you're, again, you're not just in listen only mode, but I want to be, you know, that, that mentor for you, that's showing you how a lot of people get on here and they talk a good game and, and they're showing you like I'm here now, but they don't really get into on the underlying things that most likely are getting in your way. So remember, my friends, I'm just a message away. My handle is at Melissa Kibler on all the platforms. Please, 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 you know, reach out to me. I'm going to hook you up in, in the comments, uh, the description here as well, too. If you are looking to maybe even just set up a call or something like that, I'm going to hopefully, um, as I continue on with this, give you some more just resources that you can download, free resources that you can download, things like that, and um, possibly even just set up a call because I know how important that is to really have the clarity. Clarity is everything. And also to have that personalized plan and strategy and maybe some systems and process that are maybe missing that I can help work through with you. So you can create a, a DMO, a daily mode of operation and to be on, on path, like to be on target with the goals and the things that you are setting for yourself. So that's all my friends, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, make sure that you follow, subscribe to this channel. If we're not yet connected already, and I cannot wait to connect with you soon. All right, take care. Go crush it.